Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Avrin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna be reviewing The Public Dispute. This board features Publix Alert Camber, which is their take on cam rocker. So you got rocker in the tip and the tail, camber throughout. That's gonna give you the load, pop, snap, and drive of traditional camber right underfoot. But you're gonna have that rocker out in the tip and the tail. It's gonna make it a little easier to do presses, give you a little more optimal powder float, as well as ease of entry in and out of turns. This board is available in 153, 156, and 159. I rode this board at Copper Mountain on an overcast day that had pockets of blue skies. There was average to warmer temps. You had chopped chunder, ice, perfect hero snow on the groomers, and I rode it with my Rome Black Label bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. This board has your standard run-of-the-mill all-mountain freestyle flex, so you get more play in the tips and it stiffens up right where the rocker meets the camber section through the middle of the board. And then the torsional flex kind of matches this board. It's not overly abundant, but it's also not underperforming. And when it comes to stability, for the most part, this board's stable. I mean, you get your typical chatter out in the tips just from that rocker and it slightly, and I mean ever so slightly resonates so you feel it underfoot. When you get into rutted out terrain, this board bends and flexes with every undulation. You never really have to worry about it unless you're going like Mach 10, then you might get bucked around, but for the most part, it stays on top of everything. So here's the nice thing about popping with this board. If you wanna be laid back, you can be laid back. And if you wanna be assertive, you can be assertive. When you load up the camber section through the middle, it puts power right into that rocker in the tail so that it springs. So you do get a lot of boost, and I mean a lot of boost. This board wants to pop off everything. So hit that side hit, launch that cat track gap, don't worry about it. Ollie over that family of fat skiers and make sure you go sideways and cut little Timmy's head off. You got this. Now when it comes to jumps, I was on a 153. Not exactly the most confidence inducing for a guy of my size to be hitting jumps with this, but for the small medium-ish features I hit with it, Totally fine. Didn't have to worry about it. If I was on a bigger size, I could probably hit bigger features and once again, not worry about it. But what was nice about this board is if you're laid back, you can let the lip throw you. And if you load that camber up and pop off the tail, you're going to get more boost and snap. It's a board that can handle jumps. It was nice. I never had to worry when I sat down hard and it was kind of rutted out either. What I like about buttering on this board is those rocker zones in the tip and the tail. They just give such a sweet spot for this board. So you can get up on the nose, you can get up on the tail, and it locks in and it just holds. But you get that camber section that will give you that spring you need so you can pop back out if you're doing like a 180 butter or whatnot. You can do just about any butter variation on this board, never have to worry about it. And when it comes to jimmy, this is somewhat what this board's made for and it really shows. It locks and it holds those presses. It gives you a nice deep bend and when you hit the end, you can just snap out whether you're on your nose or your tail. Now when you get sideways, this board doesn't clap out on the feature, but there is a lot of give. It really just cradles and hugs right around the feature and you feel that. So if you wanna hit something and you're gonna disaster, just be aware it might clap and spring back but it's not gonna like clap out and just stay locked down like that. There's a smooth edge to edge transmission that just feels consistent, like you've done it a hundred times on this board. It's just smooth and fluid. It rolls in and out of turns. You never notice that there's any weird transition from toe to heel. And when you really lay this board over, which is not what it's designed for, it actually carves. It does engage outside the front foot, but it steers and drives from inside back through the tail. You're gonna notice that right away. So, you know, and just be aware, you're gonna keep your weight on the outside of your front foot as you engage, roll and transition that ankle flex to the inside of this board and just drive it hard. It really is designed for those short, tight, quick setup carves or park carves, but I wouldn't hesitate to lay it over from time to time. I never had any problem with it. It just locks in and it feels secure. Who's this board for? The all mountain freestyle rider that wants a consistent ride. So I won't lie, when I looked at this board, I thought it was just gonna be another snowboard. It does snowboard things. It's not gonna stand out. Man, I was wrong. This board was a blast. Even for being a 153, I really wish I had bumped up to the next size with 156. But this board can just handle everything you throw at it there's a familiarity like you've been on this board forever and it's consistent it's got good snap it's got good pop you can lay a carve when you need to it's butterable it's jibby it's kind of just that quintessential all mountain freestyle directional twin it's a good board 
like a lot of people are probably sleeping on public in my opinion because they kind of didn't have the best rollout with their first generation boards especially around me like shops just didn't sell through with it but these are way better than what they had way better and this was a really good board really really good comparable boards the ride shadow ban the rome freaker Binding recommendations, the Nitro Team, the Rome Katana, the Union Strata. This has been my review of the public dispute. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you going to buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here, do you want to support us further? Swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.